Hi, we're at Northern Tides Art and Gift Gallery in Lubeck, Maine with Mo Brown, right whale researcher. Mo, tell me a little bit about the research team and what you guys do every day. Well, Jerry, we come up to Lubeck, Maine every summer to study North Atlantic right whales. They're right out here over our shoulder in the Bay of Fundy. How many, how many summers have you been coming up? I've been coming up here since 1985, and the, the research project started back in 1980. Wow. And uh, this is our subject right here, North Atlantic right whales. This plushie, I can use this to show, tell you a little bit about North Atlantic right whales. They get to 50 feet in length, weigh about 60 tons, and they come up to the Bay of Fundy to feed on plankton. So can you imagine a whale this big and heavy feeding on plankton that's about the size of a grain of rice? No, they... Big strong currents out here, they help concentrate the plankton. and so. It's just like uh, the best restaurant in the world, right out here in the Bay of Fundy for right whales. So they do this seasonally, correct? Yeah, they're up here. Uh, they can be here from June through December, but uh, we see most of them late July, August, September, into early October. And then they'll head elsewhere for the wintertime. Uh, mothers will go down to the coast of Florida to give birth, and, and, uh, and they'll mostly head offshore in the wintertime. So, but August and September, this is the place to see North Atlantic right whales. In the awesome. So how many people actually consist of your team? Well, we have, a, we have a team that's made up of about six full-time people that work at the New England Aquarium all winter long. And, and you might wonder why we'd need the whole winter to study right whales, but it's all about raising funds for research and planning research programs. And then all of these whales can be photographed. A pattern on the top of their head can be photographed, and we can identify them as individuals. And so that all goes into a catalog. We monitor the individuals for scarring, human-caused scarring in a lot of cases. These whales, their habitat overlaps with shipping lanes, and fishing gear, and, and so they, they have a few strikes against them, but, but that's what we've really been doing for the last uh, 30 years, is trying to change human behavior on the ocean, reduce the risk of ship strikes and gear entanglement. We've done quite a lot of that right here in the Bay of Fundy, but really all the way up and down the coast throughout their habitat area from Florida to Fundy. Great, and so outside of the plushie, is there anything else that you guys have that are, uh, will generate funds for researchers or um, assist in student internships and so on? Yeah, every year we augment our team of six researchers with uh, interns and volunteers. And it's just great. Most of these kids have, have come out of bachelor's degrees and they're really just aching to, to get their feet wet, literally and figuratively, out there studying whales. And so the funds that we raise through, through, through plushies and, and also through, through book sales uh, and through right whale sponsorships all helps towards, you know, giving those kids a little stipend and, and, and a little travel money to, to come way down east here and help study right whales. And so we have uh, one book called Disappearing Giants, which is a great book for, for older kids and young adults. Actually, it's got great photographs. Yeah, really great photographs. But if you really want to brush up on, on, on right whale science, we published this book a few years ago. There's uh, 17 chapters in here and 35 different authors who have all spent many, many years studying everything you needed to know about right whales, and we're probably too afraid to ask. <laughs> so uh, uh, this is a really great book, and, and you can get that right here at Northern Tides Gallery, and, and uh, we really appreciate the efforts of Northern Tides Gallery as well as some other partners around town, Wags and Wool and the Water Street Tavern and Inn, that uh, help fund some little things that make our project a little bit, uh, little bit more special and also just help people visiting Lubeck will learn a little bit about the most endangered large whale in the world right out here in our own backyard. Excellent. Well, thanks for stopping by and having coffee with us today. You're welcome. Thanks to Northern Tides.